Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. Now today we want to prove a simple mathematical equation which states that 3 plus 1 can be equal to 5. In order for us to achieve that, I'll start by letting 0 to actually be equal to 0. Now we know that this is mathematically true. Now I want to express 0 in terms of uh, 20. So I can simply say that 0 is the same as saying 20 minus 20. Now remember 20 minus 20 will just give you 0. Then on the right hand side I also want to express this 0 in terms of 25. So 0 is the same as saying 25 minus 25. Again we know that this is mathematically true. If you take 25 minus 25 you're actually going to obtain 0. Now I want to look at the factors of 20. So remember 20 can be obtained by taking. So this 20 can be obtained by taking 4 multiplied by 5. Then of course minus this other 20 can also be obtained by taking 4 multiplied by 5, which are, of course will give you 20, which is equal to, now 25 can be expressed as 5 multiplied by 5, then minus also 25 can as well be expressed as 5 multiplied by 5. Now because 4 is common on the left hand side, I can simply factor it out, so I can talk of 4 into 4 times 5, so 4 will go into 4 times 5, it will go there 5 times minus, 4 will go into 4 times 5, it will go there minus, of course, 5 times, which is equal to, of course, here 5 is common, so I'll factor out 5, so of course 5 will go into 5 times 5, it will go there 5 times, then 5 will go into negative 5 by 5, it will also go there 5 times. Now you can see we have numbers in the bracket which are exactly the same. So I want to divide both sides by 5 minus 5 so that they cancel out. I also divide this side by 5 minus 5. So the 5 minus 5 will cancel out. The 5 minus 5 will also cancel out. So I'll remain with 4 being equal to 5. Now we know that 4 is the same as saying 3 plus 1. So this one simply means that 3 plus 1 will actually be equal to 5. So we have actually proved that 3 plus 1 can also be equal to 5. 